This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, a battery planner, stolen by Camp Power and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now at Mölle Biel in Oslo and behind me here you see Volkswagen ID7. So I did bring banana boxes. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm going to test only the trunk space because uh, the ID7, man, oh, it looks stunning. But you know, it is uh, more or less the same from at least the B pillar and back. So, but I can show you, this is a slightly different uh, interior than the one I tried. So the one I tried was dark interior. Here we have bright interior. Oh, okay, sorry for the beeping. The car is on, so it's being Chinese. But look at these seats. Ooh, perforated. Oh man, the beeping, the beeping. Holy crap. But okay, let me get on, the, on this side. So on the that, the car is more or less the same. I mean, actually, it is exactly the same. The ID7 Tourer. I'm not sure what the other one is called. I just call it the sedan or the regular, you know. Let me show you on this side what it looks like. I have to get inside so you, so you, uh, so we end the, the noise. There. Okay. So we still have the same big screen. I love it. The interior. Oh, oh, oh. So it's like this though. Yeah. Look at this, huh? I like this color combo. It's not over bright. It's not. I mean, it is. It is a bit gray. It's not the the super bright uh, F F F F F F you have in Tesla. So, yeah. Nice, nice, okay. And now you can hear the soundproofing. Ah, okay, it's for that, okay. All right, but, 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 let me show you. So there's one feature in the back that is different than the regular. And that is that the seat here, you can tilt it up more. So I, I don't remember, wait, wait, can we stop that beeping by the way? Be like, okay. I think what you need to do, there is still a power button here. Wait, wait, how is the power button? Here, here. Yeah, they have the start-stop engine. <laughs> so we turn off the engine and then it should stop beeping. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you see here. Uh, at least Volkswagen claims that they're, they're, this is the first car that has it. So I don't remember where I've seen this before. I wonder if it was Mercedes. But you can see the difference here in angle is that you sit a little bit more upright. So of course, when I do the trunk test, I have to use this. Well, let me see. If I go back now, tilt it like that. Other than that, the seat should be the same. We can also test here. Oh yeah, yeah. What about the headroom here? Uh, how was that compared to before? Because I don't remember how, if this is different how it was previously, but uh, it's not a shit ton of space here. It's not even a fist. Well, if you, uh, that's, the, that's a funny thing. Okay, so you see here, you, you rub into here. So I guess if we tilt it up, maybe then you free up some more space uh, or I mean, oh, okay. This becomes uncomfortable. I feel like I'm sitting almost 90 degrees short burn, but at least now you t lean forward so you can utilize this space kind of ish so yeah it's like they say go mit nutskrieg <laughs> i'm still 173 centimeters but okay let's uh, go in the back uh, let's check out so here oh yeah okay now now it's like this so i might want to fire up the car sorry for a little bit chaotic because i have somewhat limited time with this car well actually or kind of ish but okay now we fire up i'm not sure how that works yeah, at least the car is on now, so you can see the taillight. Oh, huh? do you like it? It has illuminated the Volkswagen. What is this? The oh, okay, and then, no, okay. It doesn't have the, like an e-golf, but uh, you see here, at least it has the washer here for the backup camera. And then in the back, this is the one you're looking for, bigger trunk. And the, the regular ID7 has this hard cover thing that follows the back. Uh, now we have this roll, roll on thing. So you, you have two steps there. You see, when you, when you go, you tilt it slightly up like this, and then you can roll it. And then you go to the next step, and then you do it again. And then it goes like that. And then you can remove it, and you can put it here. And you see that the trunk can be lifted up like this, which means that you can totally hide the the cover under here so let me check something 
do we get flat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. How do you fold the seat? You can do it here. Voila. And you see that you get almost flat floor. So if you want to put uh, big items here from Ikea or bicycle, then it should fit just fine. And then still before, wait, are we have a travel outlet there? Big net here, oh, I like it. Wow, big, big space there. And also relatively big space here, but what about the subwoofer? If normally a subwoofer would be on one of those sides, maybe the subwoofer is located. Yeah, okay, subwoofer is here. Also, oh, you still have the space here, and this is still quite nice and thick. I think I want to <laughs> remove this also for the test. So, um, yeah, I think that completes the little tour. And then we have to put in banana boxes. So I only brought enough to fill the trunk. Um, if I want to fill the whole car, I will have to bring a, a lot more banana boxes. But as long as you figure out how much the trunk takes, then we can roughly guess what the car, the whole car can take anyway. And of course, just like the other Volkswagen, we have Anhagerkupplung here. You press it and then it just comes out and you just have to click it on. It's, as f it's fast anyway. And yeah, just show here, nice position on the plug. And then when you retract it, just press again and it will just unlock and then you just push it in like that. Okay, so now we put as many as possible in the trunk with the seat in the upright position, the church bench position. So let's see now. The regular ID7 can take eight boxes. What about now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's two more boxes than the regular. You know, that makes sense when I tested other uh, regular versus touring. But uh, yeah, so at least if it means that you can take two more boxes now, then we could almost add two more boxes when you fold the seats. But by the end of the day, we have to test it eventually. But I just don't have enough banana boxes here. I have to bring a van if I want to. <laughs> but okay, so at least now you know, you get roughly two more boxes in the trunk of the ID7 Touring. So that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.